Welcome back to my channel. So I own an iPhone, okay? And I have a PC, Windows, Windows base. One of the things that I'm always having issues with when I connect my iPhone to my Windows PC is that they don't seem to communicate very well. It takes forever for my iPhone and my PC to talk, to open up the files, to be able to download, you know, the transfer files and stuff like that. It just takes so long and it's so frustrating. I bought this one thing I found at Target, the SanDisk iExpand flash drive go 64 gig. So it's supposed to free up space on your iPhone or iPad, automatically back up your phones and videos. So I'm gonna try this out right now to see how well it hooks up to the computer. Um, after you know downloading all my photos and videos to this thing and uh, we'll see how it goes give it a cut here with my knife hopefully I don't cut myself so it's supposed to be easy you just hook it up to your phone and um, I guess it's got a software that you're supposed to back up okay so I'm gonna hopefully uh, get that ready and uh, Check this thing out. So this thing only has three steps. It, you plug in your iExpand flash drive, which is this, into your iPhone. Download the iExpand drive app, at, obviously at the App Store, and copy photos and videos to the iExpand flash drive Go. So let's see how well this goes, and uh, hopefully it uh, doesn't give me any problem, which I do expect to give problems because that's what technology does to me all the time. Simple things always end up being a hard thing. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna plug it in. All right, app not installed, the accessory, I expand flash drive. All right, it says app not installed. So do I app store or ignore? I'm gonna go to app store and download the app. All right, so here we are, Sandus iExpand Drive. Go ahead and get. Okay, it's downloading. There it is, it's that app right there. You guys see that? Open, all right, let's open that up. The license agreement, nobody ever reads these things, so just accept. I mean, look at this, look at this. Who's gonna read all that? What the heck? Huh. I don't really have an option but to accept. All right, analytics opt-in, your privacy is a priority. What data do we collect? Usage data may include items such as device configuration, CPU, and other usage statistics by application. Agree to sh I don't agree to share, but you're connected. You're connected. Set up my iExpand. Turn, skip for now. I want to do auto access your photos. Allow access to all photos, sure. App with music, your music, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Copy files, backup and restore. Do not do more store, backup and restore. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just go with view files. Um, 12 photos? What? Oh, that's on the iExpand. So let's go to iPhone. Let's go back to expand. Those are the total photos. These are, okay. iPhone, select. Do I double tap or what? 
copy files. Copy photos from iPhone. Let's do that. All right, now it's selecting all the photos. Um, since I have a lot of photos on here, it's, uh, yeah. So let's check this out. These are the photos I want to select. Let's just go with select, 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 six. And let's go there. Copy to I expand drive, okay. Copy here. Um, what do I do? Select destination. Oh, let's go to photos and copy here. All right, so download all that. I expand just copied seven items. Delete these items from your phone to free up. Sure, why not? Since I'm already copying it, uh, delete. And delete. You freed up 11.7 megabytes of space on your iPhone. All right, great. All right, so I guess now that I copied all, um, you know, those six or seven pictures on here on my iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, iExpand drive out and then connect it to my computer. See if it uh, accepts it. All right, yeah, and so I'm gonna connect this to my USB port to my computer and let's see if it reads it. All right, let's see, is it gonna read it? Boom, oh, wait, wait, wait. So I put it into the photos uh, folder. So let's see if it took it. Boom, okay. Why aren't they showing up? Okay, what kind of file is it? We can't open the file. Huh, why not? Okay. It didn't change it to a JPEG file, so why didn't it change it to a JPEG? And this is what I'm talking about. So now I gotta figure out why didn't it change it to a JPEG? Why didn't it? And now, was I supposed to do something else? Huh. JPEG. Oh, I wonder is because they're raw files. Huh. Let's do that again. Copy photos from iPhone. Um, because a lot of when I, when I take when I take pictures from my Sony camera, I would you know uh, Bluetooth the files from my camera to the phone, and um, the files that I have for the photos they are in raw format. So maybe that could be the problem. Try to find files that I know that are okay. All right, so let's check this out right here. Um, I know I took these photos with my cell phone. So let's try to copy the iExpand drive to the photos album folder. Copy here. All right, so let's go ahead and try some videos. Let's see if I can get some videos here. Okay, so let's check out this video here. Um, I know I took this with my um, cell phone. Let's select that. Copy to iExpand to my videos folder. And copy here. All right, so it looked like it copied it. So I'm gonna say do not delete for right now. And I'm gonna check this out. Attempt number two. Let's put this in. All right, so let's go into the videos folder. 
Okay, they are MP4 format and MOV. Let's see what this looks like. What? HEVC vo video extensions. Not now. I guess I don't have the codec for that, so I'm going to say not now. Now, I think with that, I can put it into Adobe Premiere and it'll, it will read it. So now let's go with the MP4. Lightroom tricks you probably didn't know, part three. Okay. Under your details section, when you add sharpening okay, so to a photo, you are sharpening every works. part of that photo, even the blurry part. Now you end up sharpening things that can't remove. By holding down alt, you can see exactly what it's selecting. The All right, so it seems pretty easy. Um, I think, again, um, it's gonna have to be like MP4 type files, JPEGs, in order for it to actually show up in your Windows Explorer. If it does come out to like the MOV files or um, those other Apple type file, Apple type files, um, you know, I think you can just import those into your Adobe Premiere or whatever video program that you have, and it will show up. But as far as opening them up on Windows Explorer, um, it's not going to work unless you have that codec then you're able to open it up in Windows Explorer. I don't know. Comment down below. Help me out here because I don't know any of this stuff. Um, but yeah, so far it works. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's see if uh, how this works with my iPhone. You know, with tr trying to transfer um, files to my computer. Because like I said, every time I try to connect this cable, my USB cable, to my iPhone and then into the computer, it never works. It never works. It always fails. It like takes forever to read the file or something. I don't know. Like I said, do you guys have that same problem? If you do, let me know because um, this was the solution that I have to, you know, to deal with with buying this iExpand uh, drive, which I think it's gonna work out for me because um, you know I do have a lot of pictures I need to download from my phone and you know, just to free up some space and then file them away on my external hard drive and you know, just go with that. All right, so let's check this out. Um, all right, so I got my cables already here. So let's see if this uh, reads the, the, the cell phone here. All right, so I'm gonna plug it right in there. Boom, will it give me any hassle? All right, look at that, 4.73 gigabytes free. Huh, I wonder what happened. All right, this folder is empty, why? Again, this is exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so let's close this window out and open it right here, Apple iPhone. This folder is empty. All right, so I got this notification. Allow this device to access your photos and videos. Sometimes I get that, sometimes I don't. So maybe that could be the reason why it's not, I guess, like I said, not communicating. So I'm gonna go ahead and push allow. All right, so now here is Apple iPhone, 4.73 gigabytes free, okay. All right, so that's good. All right, so I guess those are all my files. So let's try to copy and, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Can I cut this? Cut. And then will I be able to put it into my pictures folder maybe? Boom. Oh, look at that. Good deal. All right, cut it. Well, it seemed to work, but um, like I said, I, I just got tired of not having that 100% communication with the PC and iPhone. Um, but again, now that I'm making this video, the whole process with connecting my iPhone to the PC, it's working. I don't know why, but other times it's not working. But 
I'm still excited for buying one of these, one of these things. So um, hopefully it will, you know, uh, relieve the stress in my life when I'm trying to download files from my iPhone to the computer. Because again, I don't have uh, a MacBook where I can just, what is it? What is it called? AirPlay or AirDrop, uh, where I can AirDrop files to uh, the phone, to the computer. I don't have that option. So uh, this was my option here and that's it. Um, so let me know if you guys got uh, one of these things and how well it works for you. All right, so that's it. Yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna get technical with these specifications. I just wanted to know if it worked and if it was an easy process with downloading uh, files from iPhone to this drive to the, com to the computer. All right, so that's it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and please, 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 you know, like, like I said, help this guy out. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of, uh, you know, Air Force related um, videos. Um, what else do I do? I do like travel videos. We do a lot of hiking. I do some hiking uh, with my wife. So I do some videos of, of, of you know, of our trips. Uh, so yeah, just uh, check me out. All right. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.